How to remove a gear lever in a Skoda Fabia. Quite a common thing to wear out is the gear lever. Either the leather or plastic gear to splits, or after many gear changes the knob itself on the top wears out. It's fairly simple to replace. What you do is you have to lift the gear to surround out. It's located at the front with two clips. The, there's a long clips and then at the rear there's two short clips. So it's those ones you want to prise up first and you can do that with your hands. If you put your fingers in and you can just lift up the back part and once you've got that up then you can, this front just slips out. If you lift up the gear to you can see how it's fitted onto the shaft and there's a little metal clip seemingly holding some uh, prongs. Very often people have said that you have to cut this off, but um, you don't have to cut it off. It's designed to be a very tight fit, a bit like a, a stiff spring. And all you have to do to take it off is pull up hard. What you need is a little bit of grrr, whatever grrr is. I guess it's the opposite of being namby-pamby whatever Nambi Pambi is. So what you need to do is stand up over it and use two hands and if you pull up hard it'll come off. It's as simple as that. If you're really having trouble getting the gear lever knob off then that's okay. All you need to do is just to open that clip up a little bit with a flat bladed screwdriver. Just ease it off a little bit to weaken it and then it'll come off. If you do that then you'll have to nip it up tight when you put it back on and you can do that with some little uh, blunted pincers. And if you irreparably damage the clip, then just replace it with a Jubilee clip or something similar, but be aware that this may protrude on the leather gaiter a little bit. If we look at the end of the gear knob, we can clearly see how the clip fits around four finger-like extensions that are designed to expand and contract to fit over the shaft. Internally, near the ends of these fingers, are four semicircular raised plastic bulge sections that then fit into a recess halfway down the shaft, just here. The clip then holds the ends tightly in place over the knurled section to stop the knob moving from side to side or twisting loose. So to put the gear knob back on, slip it over the shaft and align it so it's straight and then stand over it and push down hard until it clips into place over the recess. Then pull the gator down and locate the two tags at the front, just here. Make sure they're under the lip and then push down at the back nice and firmly and job's done. If you, you don't want to take these clips out here, you can actually take the whole unit out. I'll show you how to do that. I put that back. So to take all this plastic unit out, just lift the front up and then pull the cigarette ashtray out. And then there's a screw, which is a T15 Torx 15. And just unscrew that right in the centre. Take that out. Then the whole unit should just come out. You just push it under here with your fingers not damaging anything and then I call you in it will just lift off there like that it just pulls out so it's got the little tags to hold it there there and there so you don't want to be prizing it too too violently just l gently lift it up Oh, and there's a little light because that lights up when you open the cigarette lighter there's a little light that's just actually just come off for a minute and that's that just slots back in a little clip it's a little bit weak isn't that clip that's it and then and then just shove it down gently locating these clips as i said there's two at the front two there two there and two at the back and you just push it down. Oh, there's one, there's a little locating tab at the back as well, just right at the very back. There. So that's it. Thank you for watching.
and as always give us a thumbs up if you like this video i really appreciate that it helps me make more and better videos for the channel and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next video